Hey, what's up guys? I have another piece of gear here I wanted to talk about. Uh, it's something I've been uh, using for a couple weeks now and I'm just really enjoying and I want to get the word out on it. Uh, it's a new holster called the Colster. And here's one right here. I have three different ones I want to talk about. But before I start the video, I'm going to be using three different firearms. I just want to show you and go over real quick that they are, in fact, cleared and safe. Um, here's a 1911. There's nothing in the chamber here. It's empty, as well as the magwell. No magazine in any of these guns. Okay, just want to show you that. Here's a Glock 36. Same deal. Completely empty. No magazine. And then I have a Springfield Armory uh, XD40 subcompact. Completely empty. Okay, so now let me bring in the Colster. Now I have three Colsters as I mentioned. This one is for the Springfield. As you see here, these are all um, molded Kydex uh, holsters with leather backings. Um, I also have a full size one here for the 1911. Show you that real quick. Okay, and off to the side, I actually have my current one that I'm using, which has been modified and cut for my Glock 36. Now, all these holsters do fit your gun when you get them new. What I mean by cut is the actual leather backing I had uh, modified and cut. And I want to talk about a little bit about that later. Uh, but first, let me talk about the actual holsters uh, themselves. So I'm going to use this one for demonstration purposes. And put the other ones off to the side. When you first get this holster, you're going to get the, the holster itself uh, in one of these... Oh, sorry about that. Uh, one of these plastic bags with some, some paperwork. It's going to tell you all about your new holster. It's going to tell you a little bit about the guarantee. Um, different options, other models that they have. Um, and I'll go over this fairly quickly. I'll just read what's currently available so you guys know already. Um, I'll do that right now. Uh, there's three different sizes. You have a full moon size, which you can see in the 1911. Okay, This is the largest version that obviously holds the full size uh, pistol, whether it be Glock, 1911, Beretta, whatever. Uh, this is the largest version of it. Then you have a crescent version, which is seen here which literally is oh, not a full moon, but basically there's a cutout in the bottom, uh, kind of like a crescent moon. And this will fit your medium-sized uh, frames. And then you have a small, this very small one, which I don't have, uh, but that's called the little moon. You see here from the illustration, it's basically the same thing as the full moon, but smaller, obviously to fit smaller guns, like a little revolver. So let me read real quick what's currently available in the product line. Of course, they're always... Um, you know, expanding on what they're doing and there'll be more uh, holsters available for guns in the future. But the full moon, you can carry any 1911. Doesn't matter which one, the, um, you know, the basic shape of it is going to be molded and doesn't matter, you know, Taurus, Springfield, Colt, whatever. Um, I happen to have an RIA, it's not listed here, but it fits fine. So 1911s, your Beretta 92, M9, Cougar M, uh, 9mm or 40. Uh, Glock 17, 20, 21, 22, 31, 37, 19, 23, 25, 32, and 38. So a lot of variety in Glocks for full size. H&K USP, doesn't matter, 9mm or 40. Your high point, both in 380 or uh, 9. It says 9C here, I'm not sure what that means. I'm not, I don't have a high point. So Anyway, uh, Ruger SR9 fits. Um, they have a model for that. Uh, the SIGs, two, P220, P225, P6, 226, 229, and the newer 250. Uh, Smith & Wesson Sigmas, NMMPs, uh, Springfield XD and XDM models, full size. Uh, Taurus 24-7, PT-1911, PT-101, PT-100. Now the second size, the medium or crescent size, you're going to fit your Beretta Cougars, uh, obviously the smaller ones, uh, the Bursa Thunder, 380 or 9mm, uh, CZ82 or 83, now your smaller Glocks, Glock 36, or excuse me, Glock 26, 30, um, 33, and 36. Obviously, the um, the 36 fits because I just showed you one that I have. Um, more of the smaller high points, cars in 9 and 40, uh, Keltec P9 or P11, um, and it says with or without the laser here for the Keltecs, so that's interesting. Um, the Ruger SP-101 revolvers, Smith & Wessons, uh, Sigma S&P, or excuse me, M&Ps, again, the, the smaller frame ones, uh, and the same thing with the Taurus 24-7, Millennium Pro, um, and, and so on. It goes on and on. As far as small ones, uh, the Little Moon, Keltec P3AT, 
um, which I do have, but I did not get a holster for this, um, simply because I already have three of them here. So, and the holster I have right now for my Keltec has me, it happens to be working out pretty good. Um, but I have no doubt that it would fit nice and comfortably in this uh, this specific uh, holster as well. Uh, Ruger LCP, um, Smith and Wesson, the small J frame revolvers, um, Taurus 85, Walter PPKs, um, and so on. Uh, coming soon on the bottom here, it says that the single single and double stacked magazine uh, holsters. So that's cool. Um, they're going to have some kind of a system here for your magazines, uh, as well as pocket and purse holsters for your small Ruger LCP, Keltec, P3AT, and small revolvers. So that's coming 2000, uh, late 2010, uh, maybe early 2011. So again, a lot of reading here. I'm sorry to have bored you with the, the options here, but I wanted to let you guys know you know, if, if you have any of the guns uh, talked about, um, or even close to any of these guns, I would definitely contact them and see if they have a model for you. Um, but there's a huge variety of different models right now. Uh, you also get a little bit of paperwork on your guarantee, fit and finish, um, all kinds of stuff. As far as the guarantee of a 90 day, no questions asked uh, guarantee. Uh, 90 days to send it back. If you don't like it for any reason at all, fine. You get your money back. No questions asked. I think that's awesome. Um, any good product should have uh, a good warranty like that. So that's the first thing that makes me happy. Another thing that made me happy, and I don't want to talk about this quite yet, but um, as I showed, this is modified. I cut the leather. That is completely fine to do. You have uh, full access to modify this holster any which way you want, and it's still going to be covered on the guarantee. And I think that's amazing. I don't think, I don't know personally of any other holster company that will allow you to modify your holster and it's still covered 100% under the warranty. If the clips fail, you know, if the clips fail here or the Kydex fails, the rivets come out, the leather fails, it's covered. doesn't matter what you do to it to modify it. So I think that's above and beyond as far as customer service goes. Um, let me show you the, uh, this one here just for demonstration purposes because it's unmodified. Um, and I'll talk, I'll talk more to that modification in just a minute here. But uh, let me just show you this one real quick how this carries. This is the Springfield uh, XD subcompact and 40. Uh, Smith & Wesson. Now I have my fake little pocket here, my new blue jeans pocket. Um, I was cutting up some old, uh, or I had a bunch of clothes I was given to Goodwill, and I grabbed one pair and I cut it up so I have a pocket for demonstration purposes. Now I want to show you how this carries. These are inside the waistband holsters that have clips that mount to the outside of your pocket. And actually I cut this a little bit too short for this demonstration, but I'll clip it on one side just to show you here. Now basically has, how this came to me, uh, I can have it in this configuration here. And this is how it would carry in the pocket, or in the uh, pants. Of course, this other one would be clipped over, but it's a little bit too short for me to show. But this is how it would, it would carry, okay? It's inside the waistband. If you wanted to, you could put your shirt, you can tuck your shirt in over the gun. Of course, it'll go over the clip as well. So you can tuck your shirt in, and the only thing visible will be these two black pocket clips. Okay, so it's completely concealable. Um, also, it's extremely adjustable. Now, as you see here, this is how this one happened to come. This is how much gun is exposed. This is how it is right here. It's pretty easy to get to, but it's pretty concealed. Now, you can adjust that any which way you want. Um, let me take the gun out here just to show you this. You see the clips are mounted via a screw. You have a couple of leather washers here and the backing, which has little prongs on it that kind of digs into the leather as you screw it down. So there's no way that's going to even move or wiggle. It's very secure. But you can see you have these a run of all different holes. So you have different options. You can, you can raise these. You can lower them making your gun more accessible or more deeply concealed, either way you go. As well as, if you loosen this up a little bit, you can cant it. You can turn the clip so this is canted. Let me show you what that looks like and explain it in more layman's terms uh, inside the, the pants here. This is how it's set up right now. It would look like this. If I wanted to, I can make it deeper in the pants simply by adjusting the, the clips. You have enough room on the clips to make this completely concealed so you can't see it at all. Um, extremely deep concealment. Uh, obviously, it's going to be harder to get to like this, but if that's what you prefer, you have the option. You can also make it um, so that more of the gun is exposed. You can make it a little bit higher. You can cant it so that it's, it's rotated, so that the handle is facing upwards. A lot of people with their 1911s, they like to cant on here. Uh, not necessarily just 1911s, all different kinds of guns. People like to carry it in different options. So you can have it carry just like this, so that the handle is way up there. If you wanted to, you can do the reverse. You can make it so that it's more like that. A lot of adjustment here uh, to fit everyone's personal needs in a holster. Um, 
what else can I say? Uh, real quick, a little tip. When I first got this, it was uh, kind of squeaky because it's brand new leather. When the clip was moving, uh, let me see if you guys can hear this. It's just new leather. It just has to be broken in. Um, you can use oils, mineral oil, I guess, if, as if you were, uh, you know, trying to break in a baseball glove. What I did with mine is I, I got a wet rag, just, you know, tap water, nothing, no big deal. And I wiped down um, to just lightly dampen behind the clip. And that made it completely silent. So when I put the holster on and moved around, it didn't make any noise whatsoever. Obviously, using some kind of oil will be more permanent, uh, you know, to break it in that way. Or you can just break it in with time. It doesn't really matter either way. Um... Let's see, what else? You have the three different sizes. I don't know if I already covered this, but um, you have the full moon, which is for your full size revol uh, full size frames. I believe I already covered this, but anyway, full moon for your big ones. You have the crescent for your uh, medium sized guns, and then of course you have the small moon or little moon for the uh, the little guns. So a lot of different variety in here. Now I want I want to talk real quick about the um, the modified one that I did. This is my Glock 36. This is what I've been carrying. And I modified it. I cut out the leather. Now, when I first started carrying this, I really didn't have too many problems. I found that in drawing the gun, it, was, um, it wasn't terribly difficult, but I had a little bit of problem getting my thumb behind the leather. Okay, when I had the full piece of leather. Let me show you the, um, the Springfield here, because this is unmodified. When I first got it, I was carrying my Glock 36, and I went to draw, just doing some dry firing, some practice uh, practice runs with it. And I found that I had to kind of like push the leather out of the way, and it kind of, you know, pinched my finger a little bit trying to draw the gun. Okay, so just looking around and doing a little bit of research, I found a very, very good review um, from another YouTube member. And I want to give him full credit for the modification that I've done uh, to this gun, to this holster here. And uh, his name on YouTube here is Clean Stone. 141 and he did a video the title was something like Colster modification or something along those lines and what he uh, had talked about is that he modified and cut out his his backing okay so that only a small portion of the handle was was uh, actually behind it now by doing this you still have the full comfort of the leather backing okay because that's where the gun is however you have an exposed handle here or grip so that when he went to to uh, draw the gun, it was very easy to grab onto. There was no leather behind it to get in the way and have to shuffle behind to actually to draw the gun. Okay, the other modification, the other reason he modified it is because he had an issue where his his magazine release uh, lever or button rather um, was actually rubbing on the leather. So let's say let's take the Springfield here uh, for demonstration purposes. And let's say I had a magazine, which I don't have in front of me because I didn't want to have any loaded magazines for the review here. But let's say you had a magazine in and you pushed on the gun. Let's say you were bending over something. And it's very hard to see here because it's black and it's kind of hidden behind here. But there's an ambidextrous magazine release on this gun. And there's this button on the other side as well. And basically what was happening is when he, um, he pushed on the leather or pushed the gun up against his side, it actuated that button and the magazine popped out a little bit. That's obviously something you don't want to happen when you're carrying. So by cutting this out, it relieves the pressure against that magazine release, as you can see here. Okay, so there's no way you can you can uh, access that uh, by pushing on the leather. So it solved two problems. One, it was more comfortable, even more so comfortable to draw, as well as his magazine was securely in and he had no issues with that uh, falling out or getting loose. So as you can see here, with a little bit of time, it starts to mold against your body. This one's already molded against my body and carrying. Um, it's breaking in, it's quieter than it was. Um, you see when I first got it, I adjusted this for a deeper concealment, and then I found that it was a little bit too hard to get in there uh, to get the gun. So I, I put it back, and this is actually where they originally came, in this position here, and I found it to be perfect. And if I can show you again with the pants pocket here, this is the, um, the current carry position that my, my Glock's in. It's just like, look at these pants. It's just like this, and I have my uh, my shirt tucked over, or not tucked in, but it is, uh, you know, over the gun and completely concealed. It's very easy to get to, especially with the modification. I get my hand behind there, behind the gun, uh, to draw. So it looks just like this. I just I lift my shirt up, I sweep down, and I can draw. So um, awesome, awesome product. I really highly recommend it. Uh, without talking about other brands, this style 
this style of holster um, runs anywhere from sixty to a hundred dollars. Uh, on average, it's about sixty-five, seventy dollars for a, a system like this, which is basically um, two clips, a moldy piece of plastic to hold your your um, your gun, and then a leather backing. Um, this uh, this specific holster here is actually only forty-five dollars with free shipping. And I, I, I swear to you, I spent probably two or three hours looking for other similar holsters for that price, and I just could not find it. It is simply the cheapest um, price around for this specific holster. And you have free shipping. Uh, this came very, very fast. They use uh, USPS Priority Mail. Uh, being uh, <laughs> uh, a post, uh, postal guy myself, I'm you know, proud, of, proud to say that. It is very fast shipping. Um, and it's free. You really can't beat that for 45 bucks. It's definitely worth checking out at least once. If you don't like it, send it back. You get your money back. It's that simple. Um, this is the Colster. K-H-O-L-S-T-R. You can find these at Colster.com, I believe is the website. Let me just double check that real quick. I uh, should say somewhere around here. I'll, of course, I'll put it on the sidebar. Um, here's the number if you want to um, you know, call them. It's 877-546-5783. Um, or one eight one eight seven seven Colster, and of course that's uh, you know if you want to call them up and see if they have if you happen to have a pistol or you know a firearm that I did not mention in the list, you want to see if they're working on making one for that. That's fine. If you have any questions, feel free to call them or email them. Again, I'll put the website in the sidebar. Um, I'm very very happy with this for forty five bucks with free shipping. It's fantastic. I really I can't I can't tell you how comfortable this is and how easy this is to wear uh, day in and day out. And the, uh, you know, the Glock 36 isn't a terribly heavy gun, but pretty soon I'm also going to be checking out the 1911, which is a heavy gun. And uh, I only test ran it uh, one day, uh, carried it around for about two hours when I was running an errand. And it really, it was still very comfortable. Uh, I mean, it's full-size 1911 uh, steel frame, so I did know it was there. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't disappear on you, um, but it is it's still very, very comfortable. Again, if you want to know a little bit more about the modification to this holster, uh, check out uh, Cleanstone141, uh, or just search for Colster Modification, and you'll find his video on here. So, um, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it, as always. And, uh, you know, if you guys end up picking this product up, you know, write a little comment below. Tell us how you, how you liked it. Maybe if you didn't like it, you know, some honest opinions would be great. And, uh, you know... That's pretty much all I can say. Like I said, it's something that I've enjoyed. It's very hard um, finding really good holsters that are comfortable to wear and still affordable. Um, so far, I've probably tried maybe seven or eight different holsters for my Glock. And uh, this is by far my favorite. It's just like I said, it's easy to carry. It's not as easy to put on uh, for me. Maybe it's because I'm a bigger guy. But um, I had a little bit of difficulty putting it on. Uh, but once it's on, it's fine. It, it's there to stay, and it's very comfortable, and I kind of forget about it throughout the day. Sitting down, again, being a bigger guy, I know this might be an issue because sometimes you have a big fat gut sticking out your side, you know, your, your gun may be sticking into it, and it's uncomfortable. Um, I could tell you that it is, it is extremely comfortable. Again, something as simple as a, a little leather backing really, really helps. I can drive comfortably. I've taken an, an hour-long drive with this. Uh, forgot I was there. Whereas other holsters, the gun was digging into my side, and I, it was irritating. You know, so it's just a really good option. Like I said, you know, check it out. If you don't like it, you get your money back. It's that simple. So that is the Colster. Colster holster. <laughs> um, thanks again, guys, for watching. Like I said, I always appreciate it. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.